Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest zombie in WWE Champions, Becky Two Bites. Um, a plus on the name. I'm gonna give it an A on the design. I need to see what this looks like without the coat. Unless she wrestles on the coat, in which case, definitely an A. Definitely an A. Okay, so she is a modern era aggressive acrobat coachability at 26k. Green gems do 30% more damage. Botch gems do 60% more damage. Um, so assuming we're going to get a zombie technician next week that has botch gems. Yay! Um, Link's currently missing the zombie link but will be added. Um, modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear first move we're going to take a look at is available at five star uh, the finisher to the gallows 10 mp deal 268,000 damage and swap a three by seven random area into blue gems the five star move six mp bite deal 223,333 damage and make 30 random gems into leech gems of strength 250,133. This is a hardcore move. If your health is below 75%, then increase your blue MP by 5. And green 1, the corpse avalanche 2 MP, deal 46,989 damage. And increase your blue MP by 5. Um, entourage for this, we're going with Pat Patterson for the plus two blue MP and 100% more damage to blue moves. Mutant Bailey for 150% to the finisher. Goat Becky for 35% to blue moves. Hall of Fame Onky Tonk Man for 25%. I don't have Ezekiel worked up. I don't know many people that do. Uh, but he has 50% uh, blue finisher coach at 26k. For the belts, we're going to go full move damage here. Take down twos. The blue percent, not quite max out, but we're getting just about 150% from that. So 251.36% to the blue moves. And a two words for you played. 50% chance to create two random X breaks each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. This will hopefully allow us to break more leech gems for more damage. Brains. Blah! All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that is kind of a corpse avalanche, isn't it? Um, okay, so 1.1 million damage. 30 random leech gems going out. We're, we're, we have full health. There is a move that's going to make us not full health. Don't worry. Um, we got an X break there. We got an X break there. To the gallows. Uh, 1.7 million damage. Three by seven random area. Oh! Looky there. It's a choose. Even better. Kick off your X break jumps. And a 6.3 on turn one. Brains. Blah! She doesn't wrestle in the coat, so it's an A, plus, by the way. It looks really dope. Um, all right. Well, that is a move damage focus. Let's um, let's swap in another move that makes that hardcore ability make more sense. So a slight variation now. We're taking out the green move and bringing in blue two, which is the reanimated leg cleaver. Six MP. Deal five million eight hundred six thousand six hundred sixty six damage to opponent and self. Um, I do want to point out this is similar to Zombie Gunther's move where you cannot boost this damage. Um, the text is currently missing. Subject to change. Uh, Lawler for blue MP. Mutant Bailey for that finisher damage. We're basically going to stick with the takedowns, but we're just going to use um, an MP trainer instead. 
And we should take enough of our own health that will reload our finisher, and then we'll heal up by breaking all the leech gems. Um, fingers crossed. Brains. Blah! Um, okay. Five million damage, or basically six mil. Ow! And uh, how do you know it's working? It's glowing. Ta-da! Ta-da! So the hardcore ability goes first, and then you do the move damage and do the leech gems. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Um, and then 1.4 on the finisher, and we just gonna pick off a bunch of these leech gems here, and that should be uh, that should be good there, bud. Went full Canadian for a sec, and uh, we healed it all back. So that's kind of disgusting. Not gonna lie. Um, really loving the mechanic of zombies hurting themselves than healing themselves, basically proving that they're undead. Um, really, really cool. Let's go ahead and switch gears, take a look at something else. Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the six star move and some black and green. So green two, one MP, the putrid forearm smash, deal 26,800 damage plus 89,333 bonus damage for every trap gem. Black one, the double barrel drop kick, six MP, Deal 115,686 damage and make 25 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 160,800 damage and increase your black gem damage by 30% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. If broken by you, steal up to 160,800 health. And the six star move, the belly to back suplex. 6 MP, deal 536,000 damage and make 25 random gems into black gems. And as you can see, the no drip light is on. No drip for this build. Entourage for this, Woods for black MP, Dakota for two more trap gems and 50% damage, Dragon for 50% more damage and one more trap gem. And then Hall of Fame Bree for two more black gems. If you have, I think it's Hall of Fame, not Hall of Fame, um, Zombie Sean. At 26k, he gives you three black gems. So use that if you have him instead. Um, and for the belt, I'm keeping the two words for you. And we are going full Fury 2s. I'm surprised there isn't a trap gem plate yet. It's got to be coming soon, right? Anyways, let's see how this looks. Brains. Blah. All right, put your trap gems out first. So we have what, 28? So 28 by 178k. So that's five mil. Gonna take a note of that. Um, and then 29 of those. 27 random gems into black gems, all of which are going to steal health. Steal more health. We got all but three. And, uh, I don't know how much health she had, but we took more than all of it. I know, super analytical response. Let's just say that was like six. Let's just call it six. Um, one more build I want to take a look at, so let's go set that up. Okay, the last build we're going to take a look at is triple black. And as much as I want to put a drip plate on this, I'm not going to. No drip light. Staying on. All my homies lack a drip plate. Um, the double barrel drop kick, which when your opponent breaks, increases your black gem damage. The disarm her... Uh, this is the black two move six MP submission place seven submission gems and do 178,666 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength eight 
And then the belly to back suplex where we make everything into black gem. This is going to be, this is going to be gross. Um, Woods for black MP, Titus O'Neil, sugar honey iced tea. We're using Titus. Uh, for more black gems, zombie edge for that flat 12k hall of fame brie for a whopping 5% more damage and two more black gems. And instead of the drip plate, because like I said, I, I'm really tempted to try this with the drip plate. Um, I kind of feel like the Rhonda's jacket is going to be better. I mean, I obviously don't know unless I test it. I obviously don't know unless I test it. Um, but the Rhonda's jacket, whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. I feel like this is going to be it. I don't know if the drip plate's going to do a lot more. I, I feel like turning the entire board into black gems with that boost is going to be better. Um, maybe I'll test it. Fine, I'll test it afterwards. Let's see what the Rhonda's jacket does. Okay, so we're going to put the trap gems out first because we want her to break them. That's how we start stack a lagging. Uh, place submission gems. Just try to put them on gems she's not going to match. I know black is her primary color, but, you know. Meh, welp. Oh, break everything. Break everything! What's that boost at? 17. Uh, so 340,000 on our black gems. 2.7 mil on the times eight. And we're going to make 31. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven black gems on the board. We're going to make 31 black gems. That's 38. The board is a seven by seven. That's 49. We're, we're making like almost, almost the entire board. What are we going to do? Is it going to show me the damage? Ooh! Ooh! Oh, girl! Girl, uh-uh! Mm, man, I can't wait for Davey to try this build. Oh, wait, he doesn't have zombie edge. <laughs> Never mind. Um, should we still try the drip plate for science? Yeah, let's try the drip plate for science. Okay, the drip plate's on. We gotta see. Uh, that first build... Not the first build, but like the previous build was a good 27 mil. I mean, who am I kidding? This is probably going to hit harder. I'm just trying to get out of that drip plate mentality, you know? She pinned us, so the boost is gone. Well, well, maybe we try one more time just because. Okay, take two. Just don't pin me. It's the only way this is going to work is if you don't pin me. Definitely fighting for board space. I can see that immediately. Uh, we have a nine turn, a uh, nine stack. So 154. I don't know what it's going to be on a times eight or times seven. We don't have any. But again, 27 mil is the bar here. Rhonda wins. But 15 mil with a drip is nothing to sneeze at. If you don't have a Rhonda's jacket plate, you got a spare drip. By all means. By all means. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Becky Lynch. Becky two bites. I'm going to turn that drip light off because I mean it 15 mil with a drip. Hell yeah. That's solid 27 mil with the Rhonda's jacket and it's a lot more accessible things you like to see. 
Again, she is a modern era aggressive acrobat coach ability at 26k. Green gems do 30% more damage. Botch gems do 60% more damage. Makes me think we're getting some kind of a tech botch zombie next week. Um, off the top of my head, maybe tech shamrock? I know Benny is a big shamrock believer. Curious to see how that looks, Benny. Let me know. Um, links again, modern era gems do 5% more damage. Zombie link is coming. That's the 20% more health and just the one standard set of gear. Let me know what y'all think in the comments of this video and in the discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends and subscribe. So you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend.